It's Liliana the Magnificent and welcome back to my main city, Dukes of Honey. In this video, I am going to cover the days mid to end February into March 2022 that are the best to age up, era up, level up, jump up eras, however you want to say it. Now, before I jump into those days, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified whenever I put out new videos, especially when I live stream. All right, let's jump in. The biggest thing that we are going to want to focus on is that the St. Patrick's Day event just started today. So... It started today, February 25th, and it runs until March 17th. Now, this event is one of the most time-intensive events within Forge of Empires. And really, we want to make sure that we are focusing on this event and we don't want our gameplay of it messed up because of jumping up too early and not being ready. So, let's jump in. If we look at today's date being February 25th, we are right in the middle, nearish the end, I actually should say, of the current Guild Battleground or GBG season. Because of this, and also because of the fact that the event launched today, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you don't jump up today. Now, if you were an unfortunate soul that did jump up before seeing this video, please know that I am sending lots and lots of positive vibes your way because that's just a little bit stressful. Okay. So if we put that aside, we're going to be looking at March 3rd being the start of a new guild battleground season. Now I caution this, this is less than a week in order to get through this event quest line. Granted, I'm on day one and I'm already at 11, but there's a lot of like find incidences and antique dealer quests and whatnot within this city. And I know saving pots of gold is extremely important when it comes to actually working through this event and watching this boat going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So with these things in mind, you really do have to play this event smart and you need to work through these event quest lines and you do not want to get yourself stuck or in a situation that you cannot jump to the next town or you don't have enough pots of gold, etc. So I would not feel comfortable suggesting to people that March 3rd is a good day to age up. So if we look up Beyond that, we will see that the start of another guild battleground season is March 17th. Now, this also lands that it's the final day of the St. Patrick's Day event. Now, this does work kind of nicely that you might end up being able to get a couple of rewards that are current era if you do age up this day. But be kind of mindful that you don't want to put your Celtic farmstead down in your city until after you've aged up. Just because that impacts you having to potentially use a reno kit or a upgrade kit or a one-up kit if you didn't actually need it. Whenever you have that Celtic farmstead, it already has upgrades and it will upgrade to your current age without you needing to use a reno or a one-up kit. So be, be mindful of that. Um, so the 17th is great. Wait until after Guild Battleground opens. That means that you will be using previous era troops to fight previous era battles. Um, it also could mean that you're using your current era troops to fight those previous troop battles, which is awesome. It just means you take less damage. It also means that you're using goods from your previous era, thus allowing you to save and stock up on your current age goods. This is also near the end of a guild expedition cycle, so that also works really nicely too. Now, if you don't want to age up and you're like, Lil, hey, I just want to get through this entire event and I just want to focus on those boats and that's all I care about are the boats. Then if that's the case, then I would wait until March 31st, which is another start of a new guild battleground season. I'm going to say with just how time intensive GBG Guild Battlegrounds has become. I don't really suggest aging up on the, these Tuesdays, but if you ever do, it's always after a guild expedition starts. Just be mindful of that. Now, I'm also going to get on a little pedestal here. I have no idea when the new Space Age Jupiter is coming out, but I know it is coming out soon. I don't think that they would throw that out during an event. I mean, that just seems like really challenging if they were, but I feel like 
I'm just getting vibes towards the ends of March. So if you are one of those players that is currently in Space Age Venus, I'm just going to say, do not shoot your guild in their foot and level up, age up, era up, whatever, before a guild battleground starts. Do not do it. Do not. Do not, do not, do not. Otherwise, you are messing up guild battlegrounds for potentially everyone in your guild because your guild treasury has not had a chance to stock those goods and also nobody is in those eras. Nobody can trade for those goods. You are stuck. So please, 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 please do not do your guild a disservice and age up before guild battleground starts no matter where it ends up landing even if they like were to release it on a tuesday wait just wait be patient be patient be awesome and patient okay I'm going to get off my pedestal. I hope you all are going to enjoy this event. I know it's super time intensive. I'm even, you know, as you can tell, I'm even trying it right now. I don't know how good I'm doing at it, but you know, we're going. So either way, you guys enjoy the event, enjoy February, enjoy March and hang in there. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, it's Liliana the Magnificent and welcome back to my main city. No, wait. Okay, now we're back. Okay. <clears throat> Hi guys, it's Liliana the Magnificent. Nope. <clears throat> I'm just really struggling. Do da, do da. Okay. One of the biggest things that we're going to want to look at. I'm going to sneeze. Can you, like, not? <laughs> okay. Hi there. We're just going to sneeze.